Okay. Okay, I am recording okay. now. Okay. Uh, hi, everybody. This is Rob from Very Little Press, and I'm here today with Julia Nunes. Pleasure to meet you. Um, so, uh, congratulations on a new album, um, Settle Down, coming out 28th. Yes. Uh, so, great stuff on that. We watched the video today. Wake. It looks great. Thank you. By the way, it shows that you guys had some money here to spend. It looks amazing. So, I think everybody's familiar with you. Sensation, starting out just sending videos to your friends. I checked this morning, and I don't know how closely you keep up. Two hundred seven thousand subscribers to your YouTube page. Wow, fifty million views. Pretty impressive. So, so, but what I want to get to that with that then, um, you then hit Kickstarter to, to fund your new album. You asked for what, 15000 and came in with $77,000 mm -hmm. on the time. What's that like for an independent artist like you uh, to just have this kind of money? Uh, you know, really? That is life-changing money. I mean, I had budgeted $18,000 for the album. I was going to do all 18 songs in 16 days. And um, with all the costs and the musicians, the producer, engineer, studios, all of that, it was going to be, you know, about a thousand bucks per song. And I didn't think people would understand that, so I asked for 15, hoping that, like, that would be a number that they could at least wrap their minds around. And then uh, we hit that in, like, 24 hours. <laughs> so, um, totally exceeded my expectations. So what'd you do with the mic? Well, we were already in the studio when it started coming in, and... Firstly, we breathed a sigh of relief, um, and then we decided to relax a little with the schedule. We booked a bunch more days in the studio, um, and we like, basically, there was no room to mess up in the studio when we had it mapped out. Like, I would go home, and all night, I would make a list of everything I wanted to do the next day, and we would just run through the list, and if I wasn't getting it perfect, so what, we need to move on. Um, with all the extra time that we had, we were able to like really get everything nailed down perfectly. Um, we brought in more musicians. We brought in a string quartet. Um, we ended up having, you know, really amazing moments like the Snapple cap being put on the album because we just had time to like screw around and try silly ideas which we didn't have before. Um, and the music video that I released for Stay Away, that was one of the big things that I spent a lot of time and money on. Um, and right now we're touring, which is one of those uh, either you're not doing so well or you're breaking even type of uh, excursions. So having Kickstarter money has been really awesome. Now I know when you started posting your videos online, you're doing that originally from your mailroom room at, at school. And I guess the ukulele came about how? Can you explain that to us? Um, how I started playing it? Well, on, on the videos, why were you using the ukulele primarily? Well, I lived with two girls. We were in a triple, and um, I they just didn't like the guitar. It was too loud. They wanted me to go to a practice room, and I didn't want to lug my guitar all the way across campus. And we kind of came to a compromise with the ukulele. Um, it was quiet enough and I wasn't disturbing any of the neighbors and all of that. And usually I had a couple hours to myself every day with their class schedule. So it always worked out a little. <laughs> As things started to then hit with, with the YouTube videos, were you ever worried about me maybe, maybe being typecast or thought it was kind of like the, the quirky ukulele girl? I think the only way you can really get typecast is if you just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Like if you, especially with me, no one's telling me that I have to do one thing. So I'm allowed to walk right out of whatever pigeonhole I might be in at my free will. So I do frequently. And I think, um, you know, it's, it's the kind of situation where 
there's always going to be someone who's like, whoa, that's a little different from what I'm used to. I don't like it. And to that I say, So I know, though, you play a lot of other instruments as well, kind of some quirky ones, a little quirky finger piano, and a little uh, Kalimba. Kalimba. Yes. So where, where did all that start from? Um, so they do this kind of thing with all these different instruments. Um, well, I just won't ever have a lot of room okay. oh, so to have like a drum set, here, so I'm using yeah. some other form of percussion. Okay. I don't have room to have like a heart, a so I want right that kind of like oh, sorry, ethereal yeah. noise to come from somewhere else. Sorry. Um, and so, you know, I have the little, like, thumb harp, and um, it's, it's more out of uh, innovation than, um, like, obviously I would love to be able to play drums. So with, like, then, the success, then, new album and, and stuff like that, have you been approached by any labels? Have you, have you considered right, signing off labels? Um, the issue of labels has kind of been there, like, the whole time I've been playing music, and I've been approached. I've never seen a good deal. <laughs> um, and I think, you know, if there was a good deal where I could maintain all the creative control and, and just like have a great to work on stuff by myself, then I would totally do it, but I've never been offered that, and I know you so, Because I think people are really scared right now to invest money in something that isn't like a guaranteed money maker, and um, I would be too, but I'm kind of betting on myself, and I I don't expect anyone else to have as much faith in me than I have in myself. Well, thank you so much for talking with me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Julia Nunes, everybody.